Next, we will see a few interesting applications of the new framework that we introduced with a random variable as the central idea. Let's play American Roulette. In American Roulette, there are 18 red slots, 18 black slots, and 2 green slots. So the probability of the ball landing on red is 18 out of 38. And the probability of the ball landing on green or black is 20 out of 38. The rules of the game are such that if you place a $1 bet on red, you will win a dollar if the result of the spin is red, and lose a dollar if the result of the spin is not red. Placing a bet can be thought of as an experiment whose outcome depends on a chance. Therefore, we can introduce a random variable x that represents the payoff of such a bet. Then the following probability distribution table can be constructed for x by listing the possible values of x for winning and losing scenarios, along with their probabilities. We can now compute the expected value by adding another column on the right and computing the product of each possible value by its probability. The sum of the column is negative 0.05, and this is the number that we call the expected value. So what does this number mean in the context of the problem? We interpret the mean as the average winnings of placing a $1 bet on red. In other words, on average, you would lose $0.05 cents per game. So if you play 100 games, you will lose $5. Of course, every game you either win or lose a dollar, but on average, it is always a loss. Every game is set up in such a way that the expected payoff of a bet is always negative. Another application of discrete random variables is in the insurance industry. Let's say Bobbert just purchased a new car and wants to purchase an additional insurance policy against totaling his new car. So Bobbert goes to insurance agent's office and says, I want to purchase a policy against totaling my $20,000 car. What happens next? The agent would collect the data about Bobbert, such as age, driving experience, etc., and will send it to an actuary. An actuary is a person whose entire job is to evaluate the probabilities of different events. In this case, the actuary will look at the data on how many people just like Bobbert had totaled their cars annually in the past. And using the data, they can estimate the probability of Bobbert totaling his car in the next year. So let's say the probability of him totaling his car during the next year is estimated to be 3.5%. Using the complementary rule, we can compute the probability of him not totaling his car, which is 96.5%. Let's say that Bobbert ended up purchasing the policy for a lump sum of $1,000 called the premium. And in exchange, he received an assurance that in case of him totaling the car, he will get paid $20,000. The purchase of an insurance can be thought of as an experiment whose outcome depends on chance. Therefore, we can introduce a random variable x representing the profit of the insurance company from selling the insurance to Bobbert. Then the following probability distribution table can be constructed for x by listing all possible values of x for not totaling and totaling scenarios along with their probabilities. We can now compute the expected value by adding another column on the right and computing the product of each possible value by its probability. The sum of the column is 300, and this is the value that we would call the expected value. So what does this number mean in the context of this problem? We interpret the mean as the average profit of the insurance company from insuring drivers just like Bobbert. In other words, from insuring 1,000 people like Bobbert, the insurance company would expect to make $300,000. In summary, buying an insurance policy is equivalent to making a bet with the insurance company that a certain event will happen. And insurance company wouldn't sell you a policy unless they have a positive expected profit. 
the insurance business is a very profitable business. We discussed a few interesting applications of discrete random variables that gave us the idea of how gambling and insurance industries operate.